Trump breaking news. Good luck winning elections if the GOP's new conservatism is bending to Trump. If Republicans persistently associate their horse with the past president, they will undoubtedly alienate a large portion of the American voter base, including several conservatives. Working in the field of words has given me an appreciation for how their definitions and applications may evolve through time. But the fact that the Republican Party has lumped Donald Trump into conservative is something I despise. It seems I'm not alone in my displeasure with that change. I voiced my opinion about it on social media not long ago. Although some desire a principled conservative, others value vengeance more highly, as stated in a comment on my post. Ultimately, vengeance fails, yeah, it totally doesn't, and Republicans can very much bet that they'll alienate a lot of voters, including conservatives, if they overly associate their horse with the past president, that appears to be their intended course of action. This is a true change for the Republican Party, said Marjorie Taylor Greene, a Trump supporter and representative from Georgia, last week following the New Hampshire primary. Not only do we back President Trump, it states so. We are in favor of his platform. We are systematically eliminating from the Republican Party any Republican who is unwilling to adopt these ideas. Republicans want to win in November, they'll need to eliminate a lot of people, so get ready to do it, keep fighting. Trump takes New Hampshire, but the Democrats will get what they want if Haley withdraws. Put it off, embrace Trumpism and watch the GOP crumble even though I identify as a conservative. I have never associated conservatism with any one leader or personality, but rather with the principles it upholds. For me, conservatism is all about small government, free markets, and individual liberty. Even among Republicans, there was once a general agreement on that. The Republican Party has now turned loyalty to Trump into an ideological barometer. As an example, following Ron DeSantis' withdrawal from the GOP primary, Kevin Roberts, president of the conservative think tank The Heritage Foundation, posted the following, While we all rally around our movement's leader, President Trump, we also know that the future of conservative policies will be in how effectively we implement Trumpian conservatism. Trump and Trumpism are not the same thing as conservatism, that much is apparent. Trump has switched political parties more times than he has been married, in case Republicans had forgotten. There is ideological chaos in his policies. For example, he has lately voiced his support for a 10% tariff on all imported goods, which would hurt American consumers' wallets and goes against conservatives' traditional stance on free trade and a similar vein. Trump has shamelessly attacked Nikki Haley, the final surviving Republican opponent, for legitimately advocating for the reform of Social Security and Medicare. The initiatives are quickly collapsing, but Trump has shamed Haley for being honest. In his first term, Trump was also a reckless spender, racking up about $8 trillion in debt and nearly $4 trillion in deficit spending over a decade. Although there was some connection to the COVID-19 pandemic, the most of it was unrelated. Budgetary restriction was a bust. The disastrous policies of Joe Biden, Biden expands government in order to purchase votes. At the same time, Miley I from Argentina teaches him about capitalism, and you, RNC? Even before the GOP primary is over, the RNC has contemplated going all in for Trump, which is a major setback. Haley, a former governor of South Carolina and U.S. ambassador to the U.N., intends to remain in the race for the time being, despite Trump's victories in Iowa and New Hampshire. The remaining states should still have a say, keeping up with the Republican primary races, the true news about the campaign is going unreported, the dispatch reported last week that, despite Haley's campaign, the RNC was considered a resolution that would declare Donald Trump the party's presumptive 2024 presidential nominee but has since been withdrawn. After New Hampshire, the Republican National Committee Chair Ronna McDaniel said, the party must unite around Trump and concentrate on the general election. It's highly offensive to the conservative primary process and the numerous conservatives who prefer to make their own decision. There will be a dramatic increase in the number of Republicans who declare themselves independent the closer the party gets to Trump's agenda. Many conservatives, and even some Democrats, have expressed to me that they feel politically disenfranchised. Joe Biden for president is also out of the question.